You know, I'm starting to think my YouTube comments are right. I'm just a blue-pilled beta bitch, and that's all I'll ever be, whatever that means. The other day, I looked at myself long and hard in the mirror, and I was met with a face of disappointment staring back at me, a failure of sorts, and I figured, you know what? It's time for a change. It's time to just sit down and listen to all the alpha males and giga chads and walking balls of sexual attraction that grace these social media platforms. Today, we're talking about TikTok legend Selma. Kim. Now, me just muttering that word made me wet. Sorry, just what happens. Selma Kim is quite possibly the smoothest operator I've ever seen. My mom's not safe. He's basically like the second coming of Johnny Sins. This man knows how to sweep any girl off their feet and ride off into the sunset. I don't know if he gave himself this title or if his reputation just speaks for itself, but he is America's number one dating coach. That's a fact. Selma Kim has a whopping half a million followers on TikTok, and I mean, it's well-deserved. His content is A1, and he's got a modest 8,000 here on YouTube, but that's nothing to scoff at. Right now, he's in a growth phase. I'm sure he'll get there one day. The first video we're gonna watch is called How to Flirt Over Text. Here's how to flirt with a girl over text the right way. And as we all know, there is a right way to flirting and also a wrong way. I didn't know that. So you learn something new every day. Viewers sent this in after reading my book. This guy has a book? Yo, sign me oh where do i buy this oh my lord waking the core of man the gateway to separating yourself from the average man with dating attraction and love paperback by selna kim dude i am buying that right now i gotta learn this is literally the best flirting strategy you could ever use but this is called playful misinterpretation so look at what she says yo i don't have covid anymore i did a rapid today now look at how he interprets what she says is that another way to tell me to ask you out she goes hey i'm not sick anymore and his interpretation is she's trying so hard to see me geez she can't get enough of me okay i guess i have to ask her out my hands are just tied pro tip always assume that she is hitting on you ha 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 selma kim you sly dog bro leave some for the rest of us dude are you kidding me she's gotta ask me out now you want my help personally with texting then dm me the word secrets on instagram are you serious that's all i have to do all right, here goes nothing. Secrets. If you guys are gonna learn from the best and start securing dates, then you need quality sleep and a great mattress, which is why today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding designed to fit your needs, shipped in a box right to your doorstep. Everybody's different and Helix knows that. Based on your different sleeping positions and preferred mattress firmness, they have something for everyone. If you guys sleep with a partner or even a pet, you can take the quiz together and find the best compromise for everyone. I took the quiz with my girlfriend and our dog Sebastian and we were matched with the Midnight Lux. I've been sleeping on my Helix mattress for a little bit over a year now and I just moved and I decided it was time to upgrade. I went from a queen to a king and my god it's the best decision of my life i am counting sheep in under 10 seconds i hit this bed and just knock out the best part about helix is that your mattress arrives at your doorstep totally free and if you're a strong alpha male leader like myself it only takes one person to carry it up to your bedroom and set up your mattress comes rolled up in a box nice and tight and it's super easy to set up for yourself it's actually fun to unbox your mattress and watch it come to life before your eyes if it makes you guys nervous to buy something that you haven't tried in person yet helix Sleep offers a 100 night sleep trial. For whatever reason, if you don't completely fall in love with your new Helix mattress, they will come and pick it up for you, no questions asked, and you will get a full refund. Plus, Helix mattresses come with a 10 year warranty. They offer flexible payment plans and even have financing options. So a great night's sleep is never that far away. Gone are the days of going to the smelly old mattress store where the salesman tries to sell you the latest and greatest uncomfortable mattress that is way overpriced. Helix is super convenient and they take all the guesswork out for you. They just care about you having a great night's sleep, which is why I love my Helix and I think you guys would too. If you're in the need for a new bed, check out Helix. You guys can head on over to helixsleep.com slash Philion or just click on the link down below to receive up to $200 off your new bed plus two free pillows. And thank you to Helix for sponsoring this video. This next one has to be a banger. It's called the best kissing trick. It's one of my very best tricks that will always win you that kiss. I'm always trying to win that kiss. I'm just trying to sneak my way in there, say the right 
right thing. So she just magically wants to kiss me. It's always so hard though. That's why we're watching Selna Kim. I never know exactly what to do at the right moment. I always fuck it up by going like, <laughs> every single girl thinks they're really good at reading people. So you're going to challenge her. You seem like the type of girl who's really good at reading people. She'll say, yes, I am. And then you up the challenge. I bet I can guess three things right about you before you can about me. And then you stare her down. You're you gotta stare her down. These graphics are genius. It may be annoying to some of you, but you have to put yourself in the mind of an alpha male like Selna Kim. He said, you gotta stare her down. And then a tiger appeared on the screen as if it's on the prowl, you know what I mean? It's matching what he's saying. That's why his content is so good. First guess is something stupid, like illogical. You scratch your back with tree bark. You have a strange addiction to smelling bricks. You scratch your back with tree bark? And then you hit her with, you have a strange addiction of smelling bricks. And then what? how do you get the kiss? And then she guesses something about you. Take your time and tease her. Your second guess is a lethal play. Ha ha ha. I'm teasing you, baby girl. Whip out a cold read that works on everybody. I feel like it's hard for you to trust people because you've given your all to somebody only for it to be taken advantage of. She will be absolutely blown away. You're building this deep bond. She goes and then it comes back to you. Stare her down. I bet you are a really mediocre kisser. She has to prove it. Ah, I see what you did there. I bet you're a mediocre kisser. Got him! I'm getting worried that my game is getting to a level that is just God tier. If I employ all these techniques, I'll be way too powerful. I'll be so OP, dude. I'm gonna need a nerf next patch, which is why I need to know what to say when a girl says, you look like a player to me. Here's what to say when a girl says, you look like a player. Every time that a guy has one smooth game. Smooth game. <laughs> Two, her feeling attraction, and she will always pull this line out. And here's a secret, it's a test. She will call you out sometimes because she wants to see your response. If you get defensive, then she thinks you may sleep around, or that no girls like you at all. Facts, isn't that what we're all trying to do? Dude, are you kidding me? I want her to know how much I swing this salami around. Instead, you want to imply pre-selection, hinting that other girls want you, and you do it through the way that you sub-communicate to her. And here's what this looks like. Ew. You kind of lost me on the nipple grabber 9000s. What, what are we looking at here? She says, oh, you look like a player. And you say, thank you, babe. It's actually my new scent. <gasps> Sorry, I just nutted. Are you kidding me? That worked on me. Sorry, babe. It's my new scent. <laughs> this, is it the smile or the eyes? Which one is getting to you? It's fucking both, dude. If there's one thing that alpha males have taught me, it's that women are liars by nature. Just the way that they're hardwired in their biology. That's why we're going to watch his video called The Three Biggest Lies that women tell men. Here are the three biggest lies that women might tell you. It's not really that they're lying. They just don't want to hurt your feelings or want to dance around what they're truly feeling. But let me help you decipher the true meaning. Number one is that they tell you they're really busy when you ask them to get together. Oh, it always happens, dude. How come is it whenever I text someone, I say, yeah, I'm busy next weekend. No, we'll totally get together. Selma, help me out, dude. They are actually saying, hey, I'm not that interested. So I'm hoping you get the hint. Oh, it's me. I'm the problem. Problem? A lot of the girls I dated in the past had a lot of guys messaging them, and she would tell them that she's busy to come hang with me. No oh, you were on the other side of that? You're telling me my ex-girlfriends were hanging out with Selma Kim? Oh my god. Are you cucking me, bro? Was I cucked by Selma Kim? Number two is sorry, that was a drunk text. She is really saying, can you just catch the hint that I like you already? Drunk words are sober thoughts. Number three is why are all men the same? Where are the real men? This means she hasn't had great experiences with men in the past. She needs a real man to come in and sweep her off her feet. AKA, she's waiting for you. She's waiting for me? Oh, I'm gonna come. Yeah, she is. Yes, dude. Give me that confidence, King. Selna, this is all fine and dandy, right? But what if the girl just wants to put me in a friend zone, right? She hits me with the classic, you're like a brother to me. I'm not trying to be a friend zone fugitive as you so eloquently put it. So help me out, dude. What's the next video? Here's what to say when a girl tries to put you in the friend zone. Maybe she said, I think we should just be friends. I just don't see us that way anymore. If you've read my best-selling book, then you know this has happened to me once. Once? <laughs> 
Yeah, I've been friend zoned a total of one times. You know, you know what they say, fool me once, shame on me. Never let that shit fly again. No shot. I was dating this girl and she was gorgeous, but she was still seeing her ex behind my back. I ran into them together and the next day she called me, she said, hey, I'm sorry for lying to you, but I'm not over my ex and I want to make things work with him. And I was like, fuck, how do I turn this around because I wanted her? But she was like, I'd still like to have you as a friend though. And I was like, wait, so we can't touch each other or kiss each other or anything? That sucks. As uh, gross. I don't want, I, I have enough friends. I'm trying to fuck. Man, one of the ways a girl will respect you is if you stand your ground. I didn't believe in being friends. That's what I said. And she was like, why? That's so selfish. Well, what's more selfish? You asking me to be something I don't want to be or me doing what's best for me. Mike, drop. It all makes sense now. Stop being a doormat, stand your ground, and earn some respect. You deserve her. Sorry, she deserves you. Not after she treats you like that. Dude, this is why I just love Selna Kim, dude. I think we just hit the jackpot. We got two back-to-back -back videos. The first one's got 2.3 million views. The second one's got 3.3 million views, okay? The first one's called Signs You're a Sigma Male. Here are some signs that you might be a Sigma Male. They are known as the rarest males on Earth, which makes them irresistible to women. We That's me. You don't even have to continue. That's me. I used to think there was only Alpha and Beta, where Alphas are at the top, seeking dominance, and Betas are at the bottom, seeking to follow. But Sigmas are almost like a cheat code. They are at the top with the alphas but outside of the hierarchy and one of the biggest signs you're a sigma is that you love being alone but you still value others think of it like this i'm in my room right now alone besides my dog making videos valuing you guys the others that makes me a sigma male as far as i'm concerned they're never more comfortable than when they are alone they may be viewed as introverted and need time to think and reduce stress because others act like energy vampires i'm so intelligent that my brain is basically like a tesla battery and whenever i'm around lower frequency people they suck out my fucking life force from my brain comment down below if you're a sigma male and you know what i'm talking about you value people close to you, but it may be difficult to establish relationships since they are most happy alone. Another sign that you're a Sigma male is if you treat everybody the same. Sigmas tend to reject the idea that you need to treat one person one way and another person a different way, which may cause some people to dislike you. The last sign is that Sigmas are silent. They normally don't talk about the little things happening in their life and most likely are constantly in their head, which makes women naturally find them mysterious and attractive. This next video is dangerous. It's got almost 600,000 likes. It's almost more than my entire career. Career. Here's how to make them obsessed with you. Warning, this can be classified as manipulation. So do not use this on somebody who's showing full interest. Use it on somebody who's playing games or if you're stuck in the friend zone. So if you can handle it, then let's move on. The thing is, I'm trying to learn all the best techniques so that I can get as much pussy as you. Let's move on. You are going to be sending mixed signals. In other words, you will be on and off with them. Basically, one day you act like you're super into them. They are perfect. They mean everything to you. But the next day you switch it up. Yes, King. Hours to respond. If they call you, tell them you're busy. You'll call them right back. But do not call them back. Wait a second. This is kind of contradictory. Selna. I'm all for listening and learning, but didn't you just say to respond to texts? We all know that's a lie. I don't care how busy someone is. I run a corporation and I don't take four weeks to text back. Didn't you also say that one of the biggest lies that girls tell guys is that they're busy? One of the girls I dated in the past had a lot of guys messaging them and she would tell them that she's busy to come hang with me. I'm not calling you a hypocrite, but I would just like some clarity. Maybe, maybe I'll learn it in the book. You know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. Treat them almost like it doesn't matter. What you're invoking is the power of pain and pleasure i don't know what you stole from me sorry babe i was having a sigma male moment one moment they have the feeling you do anything for them they feel like you're obsessed with them they get comfortable with that feeling and they love it but when you take it away it will begin to make them crave that attention again yes women are just like dogs that rely on you to feed them if you give them food and then you take it away they're gonna be like huh where's my food this is why selma kim is a modern day genius kid has a louisville slugger that he has to beat women off of him with. Imagine that. It will make them crazy about you. It's like giving them a tropical paradise, then dropping them in a dry desert. They'll begin to chase your attention again and slowly become obsessed. <laughs> talking about like torture how to break someone's mental state warning don't use this on people you actually like oh my lord style secrets to look alpha you know i'm all about that drip here are some tricks to dress and look more alpha p.s girls want these things <laughs> 
This man dresses like the fucking guys at the mall that chase you down, giving you cologne samples. Get this whack-ass drip out of here. I'm sorry, Selna, I'm sorry. I, I have sinned against you. You want to look like a confident alpha male wherever you go, no matter what environment you're in, then keep watching. Something like 99% of women want a high-value man, and these things will help you be perceived as alpha, which causes girls to chase you and men to respect you. First, let's talk about your style. You should have four to five different colored shirts. Do not get regular t-shirts. Fuck that. Instead, get the long fit where the shirt dips at the bottom. You gotta accentuate the physique. Go from a seven to an eight automatically. <laughs> Sebastian, you see that? I'm gonna take you from an eight to a nine is the outerwear. Put a jacket over the fit plus some fitted jeans. <gasps> wow. I think I'm gay. Don't forget the Chelsea boots. Oh, I can never forget the Chelsea boots, dude. Do you think we're finished? Not yet. Oh, we're not finished yet. Because what's gonna take you from a nine to a 10 is your accessories. Only use about three accessories, including a nice watch. Your final two should be a chain or a scarf. You don't wanna look like an average dude. Remember your outfit is a reflection of you. You're just at like a pool party chilling. Demi got over here, rolls up in his Chelsea boots. Selna, it's the middle of July, buddy. Why do you have 13 rings on with a scarf? Oh my God, who's that guy? Remember, girls want these things. Dressing for yourself, developing your own actual style. No, nah, miss me with that. Girls want this. Trust me, bro. They actually did a census last year where they knocked on every girl's door and basically said, plain white t-shirt, scoop neck. And shockingly enough, white t-shirts, gone. Scoop neck equals sex. I don't make the rules. I've been learning so much. Let's see if he responded to my DM. Ah. <sighs> He didn't respond yet. You know, he is an alpha male and he does run a corporation, so I can't blame him. I don't know about you guys, but I've learned so much throughout this video and it's time to wrap things up and send things home if you know what I mean. This video is called When to Go In for the Kiss. It's called the Kiss Close. When to go in for the kiss. Knowing this will help you get it. But these are a couple signs you want to observe to make sure it's the right time to go for your move. First, ask yourself, is she close? Is she leaning in and giving me access to her lips? When a girl is ready and wants to be kissed, she will get close and hint that she wants to escalate almost like a green light. Number two is, has she touched you at all? If you make a slight tease about her, does she slap your arm? Maybe she pinches you or breaks the touch barrier. When she does, it's time to go for it. Number three is that when you're looking into each other's eyes, does she look down at your lips? If she does this, then she is thinking about kissing you. Just tell her that her eyes are pretty and just stare and watch what she does. Selna, I got a question for you. Dude, every time I walk into my laundry room, my stepsister is stuck in the dryer. Then she's like, help me step bro. I'm stuck. She playfully hits me and looks at my lips. When do I go in for the kiss? <laughs> Welcome to Third Eye Book Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about Waking the Core of Man, the gateway to separating yourself from the average man with dating, attraction, and love. Written by Selna Kim. An inside look into the mind of an incel. Nah, I'm getting ahead of myself. Join me as we open up to the chapter of Cringe, page 200 to 201. I ran into a girl I knew from years ago. She was one of the hottest cheerleaders at my university. And when I asked her out, she called me annoying and a loser. I wish I knew back then that she was just testing me. My life could have taken a completely different turn. Her name was Patricia, and she had a skinnier, almost anorexic look with golden blonde hair and striking blue eyes. She had just enough meat on her bones to have an ass. Barely, but it passed. You really think I'm going to finish this dumb shit? Get the fuck out of here. No, but really, he wrote himself as if he is the protagonist in some sort of incel anime arc. Maybe one day we will all be mature enough to stop glorifying troglodytes on TikTok. 